Good eye, mate. What's happening today? Welcome, everybody. I'm feeling a little festive. We're going to the land down under. Are we glowy? We're looking pretty dang good. Now, first disclaimer, woke up with a cough. So if I mute, it's all about that. This is actually my hunting hat. I am so pumped to be wearing this on stream, although it ain't really going to work. I don't know. <laughs> we do what we can. But I'm getting festive. I'm getting in the mood. What are we doing today? Well, we are starting off here in Emerald Coast. We're going to wander on over. And uh, it's not about hunting today. But if we happen to see something along the way, we see something along the way. We're going to go check out the main outpost. I'm going to show you some of the features, talk about some of the stuff, some of the things. The hype is freaking real. And we're going to get into this together, my friend. So good to see you all, chat. What is happening? Are you excited about this? This, in my mind, uh, I've, I've been playing this game almost since launch. Shortly thereafter, this is probably the most requested hunting grounds to come to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This map, and make no mistake, it is a map, not a reserve. And the reason for that will be explained more in the story there's a lot of story. It's, it's good. It's good. I think you guys will be happy with that. It'll be explained in the story as to why, but basically it's on private land. Uh, the, the hunting laws are, are, they have their own set of rules that we need to follow to make it a proper experience. So welcome to Emerald Coast. Pretty dang cool, isn't it? Isn't this pretty cool? So I, uh, uh, I need a different headset. So yeah, unfortunately uh, that's off. Hunting hat is a get up, get up. not very prepared. I don't know what to tell you. Let's get the headset on so I can hear stuff and things. There we go. Now we're at home. So there's certain things I can't avoid today, and I'm just going to get it out of the way. Let's take a look at the overall map. I can't go into details. We're not going to identify the different biomes per se, and there are different biomes. Um, it's quite... It's quite something. Now, remember, this right here is a development build. And the reason I can't show you all the other stuff is things are being migrated from the build that the devs work directly in into the beta build that all the testers have been testing for some time now. Uh, and it's like, it's a number of things like face plates aren't there. Um, you know, there's, there's a couple calls that haven't uh, been changed yet. It's, it's little things like that. But because of the time and effort that's gone into this map, we want to make sure that when we show these things, that it is absolutely getting the most love it possibly can. Now, I made a mistake. I stopped moving. <laughs> and, and I tried to scare away some of the wildlife and they're all over the place here. There's all kinds of things happening. I'm not going to spot it. You saw it. It's there. Uh, oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of the guys. You guys just came in now. You've seen these before. And I, it's kind of fitting because it's the one species I did not list off last stream. None other than the feral goat. Okay, so the feral goat are added to that list. I don't know how they escape me. They are just, I mean, they're fantastic. They're a crowd favorite over on TR. So uh, yeah, lots of fun. So what are we doing? Well, I guess, I guess I've sort of teased it. Let's just do it. Welcome, my friends, to Emerald Coast. There it is in all its glory. Now there are biomes. Um, and this is also not on my work account and I can't get out of these areas. Even on my work account, I can't get out of these areas, but let me tell you, um, it's impressive. It's, it's pretty much, I, in my understanding, I don't have an exact, um, size, but you know, all our maps are pretty much the same. We try to keep them to that same size, that template, uh, it, it, but it feels bigger. I've, I've gotten lost I, I could lose myself for days in this. So, yeah, we're not going to give you too much. This is all you get for now. We're going to go from here and head over to here. And uh, we'll stop maybe along the way to look up point. This is pretty much where you spawn into the game. I had to uh, head back somewhat to said location of where we were before. I don't have an exact how many miles it is. Forest Runner can see, by the way. But I'll see if I get that information. I'll see if I could. Now, there is some really, really cool things coming with this reserve. And in the upcoming weeks, we're going to show you them. We're going to highlight and showcase some of them. We're going to get out for a hunt. We're going to, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the animals and 
and we're going to do this proper. I should tell you, I should tell you that next Tuesday is a bank holiday in Sweden. Uh, as such, there will not be a stream next week. However, this this gives uh, our team more more importantly our QA and devs time to migrate stuff over. So the week after that, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on let me let me just go. Bam! Let me get make sure I'm giving you the correct dates. Uh, so the sixth next week, no stream. However, on the am I lining this up right? No, it's the 30th next, no, today's the 30th, the 6th next week, no stream. Uh, it's the 13th when we return, and that's a treat, and it's a big one, and you're not going to want to miss that. We will be doing, dare I say, more of a deep dive than what we're seeing here today. Stop looking, Beard. This is uh, just to give you a little bit of a feel. Oh, I see them. I see them over there. Give you a little bit of a feel for some of the hunting grounds here. Without giving too much away, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful, I don't spot things. We're not ready to show it all, but we know the excitement and we had to deliver something for, for our folks this week, right? We had to, we had to. Okay, okay, hold up. Let me get uh, pow, pow. And I'm getting all my notes and stuff up. So while we're walking, let's talk about a few things. This is really cool. I know it couldn't be better, right? No play prey. I'm so glad to see. I, I I expect, honestly, I really do expect that the overall community is going to be so made up with this new map. Um, and it's it's the it's the perfect settings for for a good hunt. Uh, as you can see here, you know, um, it's been designed, I feel it's been designed with the hunter in mind. Yes, there are some thick sections, but there are some busy, vibrant locations spattered throughout this map that I didn't expect. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of something here. Okay, so I have two playthroughs going on right now. Most of my testing has been on my work account, but I went in on my personal account and you can see I got hung up. I got so hung up here and up here. Uh, it It is just wild. There are POIs that we will talk about at a later date. I want to make sure that they're all dialed in. A lot of our Australian friends will be able to add some weight to these. Um, man. I just, I don't know what I can say and what I can't. So we're just going to keep rolling. We're going to keep rolling. So let's talk about a few things. There's some, uh, some business, some business to get out of the way. So I've been speaking uh, with our devs and uh, I was handed some preliminary patch notes that have brought us up to speed on, uh, you know, there's always, there's always so much happening. I don't know what the final patch notes are going to look like, but I feel... I feel so bad. God, can I? No, I can't. I feel so bad for who has to to make the the uh, player facing copies. There's like a dozen pages. It's wild. There is so much being done, uh, but I don't have confirmation. And I've learned my lesson from reading from preliminary patch notes in the past. You know what I'm talking about, chat. So I'm not going to do that, but I am going to talk about some. Uh, I've highlighted a few things. There's some things you need to know. Okay. And then there's just some really cool things you're going to want to know. So let's get the need to know stuff out of the way first. Um, there is a lot of work being done on a number of species. I'm gonna to touch base on some of them. Now, it's no secret, the new Great Wood Fallow, it's coming. You saw that it's had a remaster. Uh, the fur's got some love, right? The fur variations and everything, they've all got some love. It's uh, brought up to more more recent times, uh, a little, little more updated on the graphics, uh, but there's also red deer and feral goats that have got some love and like it's a noticeable difference uh it it's it's a big change um you know the the red deer they're one of our favorite species why does this affect you with these changes means that there will be population resets for these animals now i had to dig into this because we talked last week and to my understanding at that time it was only the fallow but i have learned there is more 
So, and there's more. There's red deer, the feral goats, and the fallow deer. On top of that, now, this one came as a big surprise to me, but I think it's pretty cool, and I think you guys will appreciate this one. The springbok, the euro, and the plains bison, they will also have a reset. But the reason for this is they are getting new true rack horn designs. So that's pretty gold. That's that's pretty gold. <laughs> like I'm, I'm kind of excited to tell you guys that one. Um, and and hopefully before the update comes out that maybe we can all get a chance together to go and take a look because that's huge right that's huge yes yes price and true racks it is time baby and we are entering that next stage of the hunter call of the wild um so they do uh they do unfortunately get a reset with it but um you know these resets resets are never taken lightly like it is legitimately the bane of of our developers because they know the importance that our players put on these however uh, I think we'll all agree like this this is all stuff that's needed to be done um, so I, I, especially with like the likes of the red deer model and such but wait there's more <clears throat> let's just go ahead and hit this here survey real quick and give you guys just a little bit of a peek can we just like get on a quad and race across this map <laughs> You know, pretty cool. All right, back to the Saltbush Plains and back to thy delivery of thy news because there is more. There is more, my friends. There is so much, but these are the hot topics. These are the hot buttons that I, I just, I had to get out to you all right away. Um, you know, our community team, we're all very passionate about it. I want everybody to know what's coming, what's happening, what to expect. Alligators and crocodiles, okay? This one's pretty cool. With the addition of the saltwater crocodiles here on Emerald Coast, the, the crocodiles on Mississippi are also getting some love. They have uh, some aggression, aggression behavioral changes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're not gonna be uh, such friendly reptile giants anymore. Let's get a run on. I don't need to take my time so much here. Holy. They're gonna, they're, long and short of it, you're gonna become reptile snacks that's pretty much that's pretty much what's happening there um you know what it's setting up because hey i i've just seen a chat crocs and verhunga maybe 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 it's possible um that this could be setting up for that but the fact that we have um two different but similar species uh, we thought the crocodiles needed a little bit of work but wait there's more there's some more changes with them and it's going through some iterations, um, just their, their behavior with their aggressions, but there's also some other behavioral changes. And I think you're going to enjoy hunting them a whole lot more. They will be spending more time in the banks. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to leave a lot of that for you guys to discover, but I can tell you from watching our testers and the surprise that they felt in uh, exploring certain other areas here at Emerald Coast, um, they uh, they're pretty they're they're pretty big on this map. They really are, and it's going to change the feel of Mississippi as well. Uh, it's it's a big one. So with that, they are also getting a reset. Uh, so that's again more that I need to deliver, and there is one more. There is one more reset happening, and that is the Bobcats. Um, they're, they're not that old. They're not that old, um, but there's some rework that needed done with their drink times uh, and their need zones and such, so uh, they are getting a population reset, and, and that's the gist of it. So there are a number of resets coming. Uh, it's good that we had that conversation last week. I was able to poke and prod and um, and get this from our devs and, and our QA. Uh, you know, th there's reasons. And again, we don't take these things lightly. But I really wanted to put it out there. Arguably, the one that's going to affect people the most is the red deer. There's a lot of red deer. Great one grinds going on. Um, so just heads up. When this, this update comes out, uh, your red deer are going to look a whole lot better. So there we go. Man, okay, so that's that business. Now let's head over here before I get into the rest. I kind of want to be at the outpost to show you this. Uh, as you can see, I got a gopher with me today. I should have left him behind because he's going through some work as well. 
there's uh, there's just so much happening here right now it's wild um but you know as we move through emerald coast you can see like a lot of this okay this part is but there's a lot of spots where there's little honey holes that just don't appear on on the map um and they get quite busy they get quite busy it's it's really you'll see you'll see you'll see as you get into it and uh, <laughs> okay i hadn't seen this before <laughs> and, and that's quite accurate that's pretty accurate i gotta be honest <laughs> you've all watched the videos i know you have oh goodness no more beavers please yeah unfortunately the beavers are are part of the the process in which um you know if you've put a a a tent down or a structure down in a high pathing area somewhere where the animals move through when it's simulated it will take it down so you know sometimes it's a little trial and error whereabouts you can put it and where it's going to work where it's going to stick uh, general rule of thumb if you're looking to set a tent down you know and and you should be doing this anyways this is this is from an old player <laughs> this isn't even the ew guy talking this is from an old player keep it about 250 to 300 meters away from the area you want to hunt so you don't spook them when you spawn in but it's almost always well out of the way of a pathing route of an area that they're going to move through and beavers will not fall them on your structures Girls, beavers will get them someday in here oh we will get them someday cluck ua i'm not entirely sure um that it's always a tough one bringing uh you know the, the new localizations to the game i'm i'm that's not something i'm up to date on but i always hope so so well, great to have you with us my friend nice to see you misty how are you how are you i was creeping the other day with you I, that sounds wrong in, in a stream I, yeah <laughs> raining it out back well you know um they do have rain uh i don't think there's any snow per se but uh, these are all things that happen. Oh, I'm going right past. Oh man, I'm just getting stuck on the super highway and off we go. Um, travel is quite interesting around on this map, I will say. It really, really is. Now, I've purposely set my time to the morning for the area I'm in because I'm trying to avoid species. Again, if you're just joining us, we are on a development build. Uh, right now, we are in the process of moving everything from the build in which everything is developed and worked on um to our our test builds they uh there's a series of test builds so the testing has been going for quite some time now uh and it's where the final polish is put on so once that polish is put on we're gonna we're gonna give you guys a full proper tour we're gonna explore some of the new species as there there's a mitful like it's it's pretty cool if you miss the lineup we'll go through that one more time and we're gonna cover some stuff and things but i really want you guys to see this so I know I've mentioned, and I, I can't say a whole lot, obviously, as to development times and such. What I can tell you is extra development time has been utilized on this map. This is, our team wants this to be a banger. They've put a lot of time and a lot of effort, uh, and you're going to see that just in the world, just in uh, the, the remasters of the different furs that we've listed off uh, in the new species that are coming in the biomes on this map. And uh, this is my favorite outpost. Mm, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Because there's something really cool that we will show you guys later. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> but I can't show that yet. I can't show it yet because it's not actually fully flushed uh but this is the very first outpost in which you will travel here on emerald coast and it has a feeling of the working outback so cool i can't wait to see an army of players loaded up ready to do paddle with the ruse because man they are relentless they will beat you down like you know everything's trying to kill you in australia <laughs> it's just absolutely great uh but with this outpost comes a lot of love from our devs i think you're gonna see this uh we're gonna go take a little poke around here and then we're gonna talk about some of the features some of the things that are coming with this update uh one of them i'm really excited for and you guys will know why it's something that everyone's been asking for for some time. I've yet to try it, to test it, but I absolutely cannot wait. Um, man, I want to get some farm sim going here and go and plow out some fields. 
Uh, but here we are. Welcome. Nice little place to hang out with your friends here at the, uh, I can just, what's the actual name? I don't even know the actual name. Get it up. Uh, Soph's Place. Now, a lot of this is going to be explained uh, in the actual story itself. I, I certainly can't, Straw Animal. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Tyler Sons. Yes, I'm planning to. Yes, absolutely, my friend. Um, what's that? I'm sorry. I don't know Autobots do this thing. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, we need to find zones when they reset Red Deer. Yes, but I think the understanding of need zones has progressed over the years. When we first discovered need zones, we all thought they were absolutely imperative to the development of, of our maps, of our reserves. Um, and they are not. It is your home ranges that are imperative. So having to find new zones, uh, you're just finding where they are. They're already there. Those zones are already on your map. Okay, so um, just to give you a little bit of um, heart behind, you know, with a reset on something like a red deer, great one that you need to go out and feel you need to grind and find all these again. Um, they're going to redistribute, obviously, but you have already located where they hang out in those home ranges. Going and actually spotting the zone on your map actually has very little to do with that gameplay now. If you delete that zone, they stay in that home range. You just gotta find the exact spot they're gonna be standing again. But since we've seen that animals don't always come back to those exact same spots, it's more unpredictable now. It's more of a natural behavior. That changed some time ago. So I urge you not to hold too much emphasis on your need zones moving forward. They're important for you to look on your map and visually know where to go, but uh, you don't need to rediscover those for them to be there. They will already be there. Okay, let's take a look-see around, man. So I have a tent down. I actually had some uh, some of our folks at work join, join me and, and we were out poking around and we did a little hunt together. So this is all down. So it's a really good opportunity. I'll, I'll, we'll do that in just a moment, but let's take a little wander around here first because this feels like some sort of a, like a hunting lodge destination in the outback. Like, like we've got portables, we've got, uh, like, I don't know if it's the business end of the stick or how it goes, but it's what I kind of expect if I was to go and stay somewhere. It, it's just kind of neat. Um, some of these, uh, let's see, I think it's these ones, or is it those there over here? Some of these you can actually interact with um, and you can get in and I don't know, we need to obviously, that this needs a clean, Needs clean, <laughs> yeah. Um, little things that you know really just, we don't we don't need it to be there. But um, it's a working farm, baby. Things are happening. Things are grooving. I just I like the little touches. That, that's our artists um, having too much fun. <laughs> you know these um, these almost look like like I guess you know this gives it more of a work feel, doesn't it? Right. I felt like this was like entertaining. You know, and maybe guests are coming, but this does feel more like a working scenario. You know, like like you're gonna you're gonna see guys in here in the office working. Um, I guess workers may be coming to this farm. It it really makes me want to go and explore. I haven't even been to these doors yet, actually. Can you go into these bad boys? No, but you can see in there. I feel like a peeping tom. I'm a peeping beard. Would you open the door if you saw this peeking in? Probably not, right? Yeah, you'd probably call the cops. <laughs> yeah, I should close the doors. Oh man, the spiders in down here are just massive. Okay, so it's this guy here. If you're coming in, um, now I'll tell you, this is the only. They don't look like they don't all look like this. You should see what they look like. But it's kind of cool the way it makes you feel like you've come and you've shown up to work because you don't have access to every single one. You know, you got your time change, right? And you've got your uh, your cash and everything kicking it over here. We won't go into all that right now. You guys know what to expect there. Um, but there is something we're going to take a look at. We're going to look at one of the new features, and that's some of the customization, as you know. Let's go, let's go and do this. Are you avoiding all animals, or will we see? Well, I'm pretty much trying to avoid them, um, as uh, some of the nameplates need to be switched. Um, there's some, like, placeholder stuff happening right now uh, on this build, and this is the build that I'm, I'm pretty much allowed on right now um, because things are being worked on right now. I can't, couldn't be in the other build. Our devs are working, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little coffee stuff in lungs. Deer size spiders being added. They absolutely should be. Right. Okay. So there we go. 
showing you a little bit of what to expect here as you first come in, you first start in Emerald Coast. Um, but now we've given you a lot of really important information. I would disagree with you, Teed. <laughs> I really would. Um, very important information. Make sure to recap that at the beginning. We'll go over it towards the end. But let's get into a few of the features. So we saw something come to the Hunter Call of the Wild, which is pretty cool. And that was the customizations that landed on weapons. We had some fun going through some of these, adding some of them. Um, there's East Eastern pack that we had, or the Easter egg pack that came, and, um, you know, some really cool stuff. But with the new customizations at hand, they have been extended. That's right, my friends. Now you can also customize your tents. Now let's be straight. This seems low key. But this is this is a, a big a big ask for a lot of folks just to make it something original, you know, to be able to add your own flair um, and and to what end? Like, to, to where do you go with this? It's just something that's a little different. Can that, well, they don't all go on here, right? Some of them will, you know. Um, some of them won't, right? It's kind of cool. What about scopes? Probably not going to happen with a new reserve <laughs> or map. Sorry, it's a map, not a reserve. Um, yeah, that would be something that we would hope to see in an equipment pack in the future, my friend. Absolutely. Um, so this was really neat. I, I was really pleased about this. This, I think a lot of us kind of expected something like this to happen. And maybe this opens the door. Maybe there's there's a little more, um, a few more things that can maybe happen down the line. Heck, if they gone and put this, maybe... Yeah, let's let's hold on. Let's back out of there. I did, I didn't miss something, right? I did. <laughs> no, I'm just making sure, man, because sometimes things get snuck in. But uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this a lot. That you know, tents are. Let's face it, we use a ton of tents. We use an absolute ton of tents, and we were pretty limited on what we had. You know, um, I do believe. Let me just double check here. If you wanted to customize, say just a regular ground blind and maybe you wanted to go to a spray and make it, uh, you know, make it your own, right? It's more ways to spend your money, right? I think that's that's a, a big ask for a lot of us, you know, um, over time you end up with way too much, you know? Uh, it can be subtle changes and you can actually change the inside as you can see there, which is kind of nice if you wanted something just for, wow, for a little bit different of a look. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say you're going to see more of this. Uh, I don't think these will go on. These are for wood grains. Yeah. You'll see more of this um, in the future. It'll give you just more. Oh, that might look really cool. That could be really cool in the tall grass. Very, very neat. Very neat. What up, Wotowski? How you doing, brother? Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Do the tents still stack, though? Um... Do you know, that's a great question. One I did not think to ask. So let's see here then. So um, that's that guy there. I've done, oh, it looks like I've done two in that particular. Did it charge me twice? It only seemed to charge me once. So if I take this, that's a great question. And I'm glad you asked that because now we can actually delve a little deeper. Let's see, can we put uh, can we put the Easter wrap? Oh my God, that is awesome on the next level. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, uh, but very cool to get some of the, oh, did I just show that? Oh, did I just, oh, I guess we can maybe talk about that one too. Uh, but let's just, uh, let's just finish up here. Let's see, uh, we can make this actually look pretty dang cool. So now it is charging me for how many I have. That's interesting. That is interesting. What if I only want to do the one? So that gives me something to take to our QA and to see because I have questions now. I do. Let's, uh, let's reset the view and take a look. I mean, it is really cool. It is really neat that we have these options, right? It's just, it's about time that we can do this level of customization. Um, and so big props to the devs for adding this, you know. But this one here, if you see, this is 9,000. But when I had the single on, it was 1,500, right? So I'm thinking what's happening. Is that is that because, let me see, let me see. Let's, let's discard it. Can I get into a single? Because I feel, 
as if there's a single there. So let's get rid of that. Let's see. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I hit, I hit the wrong button. Die, glide, 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 glide. What am I doing? Storage. Holy. Okay, so let's just see here. Is that going to be the same? Okay, okay, so no, it is, it is. So there you go. So you can do all of them all at once for the same price. That's kind of cool. That actually looks good without changing that trim right there. But, uh, you know, you can play around with it if you wanted. And, um, will it add? It's kind of neat. What if I add something crazy right in there? Yeah, so you can customize them. Make them your own. That's kind of neat. Um, that's good to know. I thought it was jacking the price because I had multiple. But, uh, you know, the wraps are the most expensive being at 4500 right? And you can set all your favorites if you want. I haven't set any just yet myself. I'd uh, set we want. But so you could do multiple all at once. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, so buying the same type still stacks to answer your question, as we just found. Because I have... Get all the way down here. The one that threw me for a loop here. Um, it's it's how you're buying them. So I'm buying them in the camel, but I can buy them in the pink or I can buy them in the green and so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, I had multiples there and they still stack. Handy if you're going to carry them around. Um, it definitely is something you want to consider, right? You know, how you want to do it. So that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Is that a make fight? Did I like go through too much stuff? I did not mean to do that. But yes, there are decoys coming for the magpies uh, the magpies look amazing they really really do and uh, i do see it in the chat people want to know about the 22 250 we are going to showcase that um when it's had its final go over but uh i can tell you the the growth of the 2250 has been something else uh you know when everything first lands in the game it's always overpowered and it has to be reduced that was no different but in that process, something else, I think it's big, has happened. We've all complained for years about the 223 and how weak it is in comparison to what we feel it should be. Um, the 223 is getting a buff, it is getting stronger more powerful and is being brought more in line uh, because the uh, the 22250 making an appearance has kind of changed the balance. It's, it's, it's swapped things around. Now, I don't actually have it on me. I gotta be careful here. We're going to storage. We're gonna drop the 243 and grab the 223 docent and let's, let's give it a little bit of love and I'll show you why I'm gonna give it some love because dun, 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 if it will let me scroll dun, 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 dun. can i just slide this right over without uh i can ladies and gentlemen with this comes the Leighton lake cosmetic pack this is pretty cool um we're not seeing enough cosmetics yet we want more so we're naming them directly as we did with the hirschfeld and this is the Leighton lake cosmetic pack uh, I wanted to show this because it is actually in here right now. We'll maybe try some of the skins out on the 223. And I think maybe we'll go and fire off the 223 and see what we can see about it. I can't do it here. We're going to have to go elsewhere for it. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. It's brought some real nice colors. Uh, it tells us what we can look forward to. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. So Late Lake Cosmetic Pack also coming with Emerald Coast. Uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. There's more coming with Emerald Coast, as you should well know. We know there's a new outfit coming. Um, and that outfit's going to actually not be locked behind the DLC. So if Australia is just not your thing, that's okay. We got you. You'll be able to purchase it from the in-game store with your in-game credits. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Okay. Here's the Leighton Lake skin right there i think that's great we're gonna add some uh some black paint and uh nice and simple elegant that looks good let's go ahead let's put that on here let me grab my ammo and uh where do we want to go to try this thing out i because i i'd like to go and see what the 223 can do um what am i doing i'm supposed to be looking for ammo uh as compared to how it used to be i think we'll just go and find a deer how's that sound how's that sound okay what are we doing? I'm looking for the 223. Should be right at the top. 
Uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll bring in the 223 polymer tip and let's get after it. Um, so I'm showing you everything I can show you here today as uh, things are evolving as we speak. We're doing a little different. As I've mentioned in the past, it's very important that we show everything in its best light. Uh, I see all the asks and believe me, I just want to go, yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. But it's development build and things just aren't in that place just yet. So where are we going to go? I think uh, we go somewhere. Um, what do we want just for white tail? Let's just go shoot a white tail and see how it holds up. Hey, how's that sound? Let's go to Revan Tuli. Let's go do it. We'll head back before the end of the stream, give you one more recap. We'll show you the map once again. Um, we'll list off all of the species coming to Emerald Coast. If you're just joining us, we've uh, I just kind of put out there, oh, if I got not even done it on this playthrough. Oh, well, that's a problem. That's a big problem. I'm gonna have to go to Layton. I've got nothing unlocked on this one. You're starting me at the beginning. Site. Yeah. This place is also spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! By far one of the best out. reserves in this game. Um, I just want to go and field test the 223, man. Oh, so we have sort of been here. Let's go ahead and bounce up there. We'll change the time. So yes, that is the whole point of this. The 223 is getting a buff. It is stronger than it used to be. It is in game right now. Uh, in the, the beta build in which I'm in. And the reason for this is the 22250. Now, the 22250 is uh, it's a pretty versatile little weapon. It's pretty versatile. Well, uh, when we get closer, the day that we showcase it, we'll stack it up against the 223 and the 243 and see how it fares. Because that's going to have a bit of a play on things. What? Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are we at? Oh, and, and I'm in a development build, which means my dog's going to be all buggered. I probably shouldn't have him with me. Uh, we need to change the time here. Come on. Let me, let me get. I hate it when this happens. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it not this one? I'm certain it is. Has it been that long since I've been here? I thought, uh, what's the happening? What's, what's good? I've claimed this, right? I have. I'm in a development build, so I might be opening up a can of worms here. I might be opening up a can of worms. I think I just opened up a can of worms. Once again, development build, my friends. There's just not a lot I can really say about it, um, except that, uh, you know, wonky things happen. I broke it. I done gun broke it. So release date's about a month away, says Matthew Breyer. Good to see Matthew. Um, so obviously I can't give you an exact date, but um, we haven't submitted into certification yet and give you a bit of an idea on times, but we're close. We're very close. So um, you're not out of the ballpark. You're not out of the ballpark. We don't want to show too much too soon, too early. Um, oh, what were they moved to? They're, they're noon here, right? Noon on Layton now? Jeez, it's so long since I've hunted Layton. And none of my, I obviously have my settings off. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go. We'll just go with that. Man alive. No sleep, must hunt. I know. Pretty much where we're, where we're looking at. You know, uh, as soon as we have a date, we're going to share it right away. We're going to share it right away. As you can see, we're, we're really trying to push things along, um, especially, you know, with all of this happening. We've, we've had more time developing Emerald Coast uh, than we typically do. And you guys are going to see that. You're going to feel that. You'll, you'll experience that. And I, I'm, I'm excited for you all to get your hands in there. So let's go let's go I, what we're doing right now and i want to do this quickly because i want to have a chance to go back we're going to show the map one more time i'll read through everything and I'll, I'll maybe read through some of that while we go out and we find ourselves something here um let's just see if we can get into a few white tails at least one i don't even have the caller with me but uh we'll hit him at range and we'll see what's happening oh did i go with hold on what time did i say i'm looking at my thing i said it for moose i said it for moose I know, chat. I know. I know. I'm scattered today, man. I'm scattered. You would be too. So much going on in this world. Holy. So much happening. We're going to go to 922 uh, to move it so that they're already moving towards their, their zone. No, it's not just Fallow getting a reset. Um, and we, we did go through that. I'll go through that again for, for our latecomers. So we do have a number because there's a lot happening with this uh, with this update. There's a lot 
that is happening and the reasons behind this. So we'll go through them again one more time. Red deer, feral goat, and fallow deer are all getting fur remasters. Uh, they're, they're pretty. They're just, they're, they look so much better and they've gotten a lot of love. With that comes the need to reset those populations. Uh, there is just no way to avoid it, but uh, it, it doesn't actually upset a grind if you understand how the, uh, the, the respawns and such work. It doesn't upset your grind and your need zones are all still there. You simply have to spot them again, but your zones are all still there. Um, you know, you, you, it's, about, it's about the home ranges. So Red Deer, Fell Goat, and Fallow Deer all getting the fur remaster. Big news, big change, um, and uh, it's gonna look great. The Springbok and the Euro and Plains Bison are also getting a reset, but that's because they're getting the true racks. Mm -hmm. Yes, the true acts are looking pretty dang snazzy, uh, and uh, I'm really excited to see more of those. Um, in fact, I probably could have went and shot a springbok instead of a whitetail, but whitetail being so popular, I figured let's just get after it, and off we go. Okay. Um, does the great one get new fur for red deer? Taylor says, do you mean, oh, new fur variations for Red Deer? No, no, there aren't new fur variations. They're all getting a remaster, though, uh, for the fur variations that it does have. I, I know, it's kind of that that uh, proverbial elephant in the room. The Red Deer, they could definitely use. Oh, I love seeing the, the, that there variety. Um, they could definitely use some more fur variations. We're aware of that. That's definitely a possibility in the future. Um, the Fallow Great One comes with the new map coming out okay but hold on there's more so we've got the red deer feral goat fallow deer springbok euro and plains bison all getting resets as well as alligators and crocodiles and the reason for the alligators and the crocodiles is they have a whole lot of changes with their behavior their aggressions how much time they spend on land um they're they're a different hunt now they're going to be a different hunt, I think. With with the focus on them here in Emerald Coast, I think it's going to be um, really in the middle of running. Okay, development build these things. Excuse me. And one more to add to the reset list is the Bobcats drink time. Mm. Holy. Bear with me now. Okay, we just want to get down low and slow. Let's move over. We get one shot on. We'll head back to the letter outpost and uh, we'll read off the entire species list. We'll give you one more look at the entire map itself from an overview. Um, yeah, so those are all the reset animals once again. And, and we're telling you this now because um, I, we, we, know, we know the importance our players put on this. And it's, it's like the one thing that we do not take lightly. Uh, but with the progress of the game and things changing, we have no choice. So the red deer, feral goat, fallow deer, springbok, Europlanes bison, alligators, crocodiles, and bobcats. Oh my. The bobcats are getting a reset because uh, their drink times are changing uh, and just a little bit in their home range work. So, and there we go. So those are all the resets. And uh, I guess, you know, I don't want to call it dirty laundry because the reasons for these resets are, are huge. Getting true racks, yeah, okay, we understand that. New fur variations, okay, yes, please. New aggression behaviors. Uh, underlying a lot of these things are going to change a lot of the feeling of the game and how you're playing, you know, especially if you like to hunt the alligators and crocodiles uh, with a big focus on them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought that was something else. I thought for a second I was looking at a melee. Um, but I do not actually have, well, hey, that's a good opportunity right there. So let's get this thing onto our bar. I've got my notepad right in front of me here. It's taking up space. Let's go ammo. Boom. Let's get a sight. Boom. Zero it in for 75. Now let's see what you will do for me, baby. Be good to me now. Okay. We just heart shot from front on with the 223, a white tail. Oh, you, I, you get the beard stamp of approval, man. That, that is, that's, that is huge. That is huge for our long-term players. They probably just let out a cheer right there. 
<laughs> they brought, oh my goodness, could nobody tell me that we were glowing? Has that been like that the whole stream? Ugh, it's my fault. I own it. I'll take it on the chin. I got padding. I can take it on the chin. That is wild. That is a major adjustment. All of a sudden, we have a contender, my friends. Because let's face it, we know with the new sandbar and the Rusa roughly the size, does that mean that the 223 is now a viable deer weapon here in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Let's freaking go, baby. How about a broadside? Can we get an opportunity on a broadside? Let's just uh, let's just go. Let's see what we had. Now, th this is not always the most accurate way to look and to see on penetration, the shot line and such. Um, it's better in single player than it is a multiplayer, but let's take a look here. Yeah, it got right to it. Pretty much what the 243 does. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll find something. Uh, for those asking where we are in Layton, uh, I'm just down here in uh, within the main river complexes. It's it's a good little deer spot, uh, and we're always hopeful. I, I just I don't want to spend a lot more time here. So if we don't see something right off the hop, hibbity hobbity, uh, then we're going to bug out and head back over so I can show you guys that map one more time. Uh, because let's face it, it's what it's all about. Okay, maybe you guys, now now there's there's changes in their behavior. Oh, we're almost up at 300. I wonder what it could do with that sort of range. Let's see, baby, let's see. What are you going to do? Go red for me now. Might not have had the best shot. Let's go take a peek. Yes, the Euro Plains Bisons are getting reset. Um, but, I mean, they're all understandable, but especially that one. Uh, mainly due to, okay, I didn't get good skin on it. I'm not going to waste our time because I need to swap over here in like three minutes. I got a little desperate there on taking a shot. It's, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're getting it because of the true racks, <laughs> you know? Yes. Uh, so pretty cool. So pretty cool. So, you know, what that means right now is if you do not have the, uh, the current racks in your lodge, they're going to be going away. They're going to be going away. So you may want to get out and hunt those now. Um, we saw it happen with the black tail. You know, we saw that, you know, the black tail, the legacy racks, and that's one of the rare cases in the game where the legacy in in many opinions in my opinion looked better than our new iteration of it new iteration is more realistic though right it's more true to form who doesn't like big and loud right i mean seriously that that's what they were like but yeah i i, I thought it was a, it was an improvement but the, you couldn't get those anymore so if you don't get out there after them uh, that opportunity may be fleeting and gone before you know it hello guys can it, would one of you you're kind of quartered let's see if we can get this guy I want to see if we can double lung here. There's a double lung. There's, that's probably a single. Let's go see. All right, so we'll go pick this up, see how it did. And uh, then we're going to jump back over to Emerald Coast. So the whole point, check this out if you've missed it. The 223 is getting a buff. I had to field test it. Um, and uh, we're not ready to do that as of yet over on Emerald Coast as everything is being migrated through builds at the moment. We got a big spurt of lung butter, baby, which means that uh, good things are happening here. Is that it laying on the ground right over there? It is, let's go see what it did. I hope that wasn't the male because it was the female that uh, looked like we would have possibly had a double lung. Sorry, Gento, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Will Black Taylor we get a second pass for True Racks? I, I would hope so. I'd very much like to see Blacktail make it um, onto uh, another reserve. It's It's been a little tough with them. It has been a little tough, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I would like to see them get, get a rework. Yes, that would be nice. Okay, let's take a peek here. So we did only get the one lung. We did only get the one lung. Um, so, you know, I guess the 243, you don't really get a double lug either. Definitely a lot better. I mean, we struggled with that period before with the 223. I might as well pick this up, get a little more money, honey. Just a wee bit more. And there we go. 
Crushing them though. 223, got some love. Not too shabby. Let's go back, give you guys one more recap before we take off. Doesn't this look good? Doesn't that look great? That looks great. <laughs> that looks great. Oh, man. The dough I shot on the other side of the river. I saw that card too, Shadow. I saw that. I saw it. I'm going to leave it because uh, I'm not here to hunt right now. I'm here to make the things happen. So if you're just joining us, I urge you to go back through the stream to watch some of the stuff that we touched on. Uh, we had some tent customization to show you how that all works. We've taken a look at the Leighton Lakes cosmetic pack that is also coming here with the reserve. Uh, we've talked about the population resets that are coming down the line. Uh, the new changes in behaviors to the alligators and the crocodiles. Uh, there's there's new drink times coming for Bobcat. It's a new remaster for all of the, the different furs on the red deer, feral goat, and fallow deer. The 223 is getting stronger. Give that one a big flex. And that's to bring the weapon balance in line with the addition of the 22250, which we will be showing uh, in an upcoming stream here actually pretty soon. On top of this, I should also note, and this one's pretty cool. Um, you, they've changed the UI button. It was kind of maybe not the best location before on C. Uh, this is for PC mainly, I suppose. Uh, but now it's being moved to U. So you're going to have to reset to your default for to automatically do that, or you can just go and put it to U by default. But anybody first starting that hasn't changed it, it'll be on U. Okay, now, Emerald Coast has multiple biomes to it. Um, that is not Emerald Coast. There it is. Right now, we are on the Dry Bone Plateau. Uh, the names don't give it all away. Don't let it deceive you. But um, this truly is very well laid out. It does not have a solid emphasis on just going to your drink times. You certainly can, but uh, I can tell you that the majority of my kills thus far on this reserve, on this map, not a reserve, it's a map, it's private land, it's a map, have been uh, in inland a bit, I could not even at the water, which I, is a different feel, but yet, I, I you know, I... It's it's going to take a lot of discovery, a lot of time moving around, uh, and what we're able to do with it, you know, um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Drivable cars at Call of the Wild? No, currently not. I'd love to be able to jump in here and uh, shove my hunting knife in there and get it started and off we go. We showed off the outpost here. Um, I'd like to take a moment and pull up my list. Yoink. Not showing anything there. You're welcome to go take a look, but I'm not showing anything there um do to do let's see over to her there are 14 species available to hunt on the new map um of course i actually don't have the entire list here what they're showing me on this list is the new species so we'll go over the new species first uh the eastern gray kangaroos and you, you caught a little glimpse at the beginning of the stream. I didn't identify it. I didn't actually spot it, but you caught a little glimpse. The kangaroos, uh, I, can't, I can't wait to show you guys more on that. Um, we, we have some really fun stuff coming up that's, that's going to feature the kangaroos. You guys will enjoy that, I'm pretty sure. They, uh, they are aggressive. They are uh, what you would expect in, in a roo, from my understanding. It's, um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. And uh, they come in all shapes and sizes. We have the Bantang making an appearance. And let me tell you, the Bantang are not gentle beasts. They are a lot of fun and very impressive looking. If you have not had the opportunity to play the Hunter Classic and to poke around with some Bantangs, uh, probably a good time to go catch up over there. <laughs> they give you a pretty good feel on what you can expect here. They are something else. The models are striking. Saltwater crocodiles are crawling onto the shore to uh, come and harass you because let me tell you, with the new aggressive behavior, you really need to 
rework how you hunt them. Uh, it's 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 exciting. They've uh, they've they've had some love. They will be spending more time along the shores. Uh, there's there's been a lot of work done on them and uh, and how they they their their AI and, and what they're doing. So some of that I'm going to leave for you guys. But honestly, I think that you will enjoy them. The hog deer. They're so cool. I, I've never hunted a hog deer. I've never really seen much about the hog deers. I have gone down a rabbit hole with hog deers and I cannot wait to see the diamond variety. They are very cool. They are the start of our deer hunting mecca. We have the Javan Rusa. The Rusas are very cool as you would expect. Um, oh man we have the sambar deer these these beastly deers are so so impressive um we have the red fox not a new animal but nonetheless the red fox is here the magpie goose I can't, we can't go there yet. They're not done. They don't have, I know for a fact that the magpie and the stubble quail um, have some work that need to be changed in here before I can go show you. I want to show you. They are probably the most stunning foul in game. Um, as you would expect, they look truly like a magpie. The stubble quail, stubble quail are very cool. I'm glad to see the quail, the stubble quail uh, coming to this map, it's very, very cool. What else is new? The 22 250, uh, it's called the Varmint Rifle, uh, or it's it's a Varmint Rifle of sorts, but you can step it up a little bit. The thing's got some punch for what you would expect. Uh, and there's some new gear. There's new gear. We've got a, a whole new outfit that is happening. It's, it's cool. It has a similar hat as I was wearing at the start of the stream. Uh, and uh, it just it fits right in here in Australia. I, I again, it needs a little polish before we can show you. Um, and uh, there's also there's uh, there's something to be discovered in collars. There is something to be discovered in Zy collars. What is coming near me here? It's this fox man. He's uh, he's he's really. You're moving to. Can you not see what's happening here? Probably not where you want to be. Um, there's a couple of new multi mounts. There are. There's a couple new multi mounts coming. Very, very exciting. Uh, I'm sure. I don't know if we're going to show them off. I can assure you that our creators, when they get their early access, that is going to be a major, major focus for them. Um, and of course, as far as new goes, the late, late cosmetic pack. It's, uh, it's, it's something else, man. Tent to ground blinds getting their customization as we show it off. Uh, it's, it's cool. It's, it's so great. I, I see all the requests. I so want to be able to just go and show you, but I can't, I, I simply cannot, uh, because it's not how the final product would look and why even bother showing something that's not complete. So at this stage of the game, all I can do is talk about it. I'm very pleased to be able to get out here on this map, uh, not reserve and, uh, to have a chance to poke around a little bit with you folks and to see some of the really cool things that are coming our way to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't think anybody's gonna be disappointed with this. You can, uh, you can see, you can probably see the level of excitement on my face. I get excited with everything coming, but this one, there's something different. There is something different about this map. And were anything right here, <laughs> I would not accidentally spot it. No, I would not do that. Oh, and I think we just crashed. We did! God! <laughs> well, there it is. We'll send the report in. We were on a development build. Um, my friends, isn't it wild? It's, I'm going to leave that there to cover because this is not a plug. It's just my desktop. <laughs> Why do we refer to it as a map versus a reserve? Uh, absolutely... Sacrifice. I love your name, dude. That rolls off the tongue. Um, the reason for this is this is private land. It is part of the storytelling. Um, there, there's, there's very strict laws to abide by, and we're very careful when we go to a new area that we respect that, that we show respect for the local laws and everything that has been put in place. So this is private land. We're calling it a map, not a reserve. 
And I, I'm sure around the, the community, they'll say best reserve. They'll say this one. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a map. It's a map. Well, my friends, thank you so much. I uh, big reminder next week, we will not be having a stream. It is a bank holiday. Um, so, uh, you know, most of our, our Stockholm office is, uh, out on, on that, that holiday. I know our, our QA is, uh, working really hard and with our devs and they're all pushing these builds through. So our plan was, although we didn't want to miss a stream, uh, the decision was made to go all in the following week. <laughs> so don't miss the following once again. Okay. Okay. So let's work this out. So next week is the 6th, no stream. We go down, we go to June. So, okay, no stream, stream. Be here for the 13th, my friends. Be here for the 13th. We're gonna really dive into things. Make sure you're following on all of our socials. We have some very cool stuff coming. Not everything is being shown live here for the first time. You're gonna wanna check it out. Make sure that you've hit that subscribed, hit the follow button, do it with two hands if you gotta. And don't forget to come and hang out in our gaming groups. Incredible group of Discord. We have an incredible group over on Facebook. You should check out the Reddit folks. Uh, thank you all so much. Man, you guys are absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thanks for dealing with me and my coffee throat. It's just a man cold. It's just a man cold. Somebody call my mom, please. Okay, we'll see you next week. Next week, no, the week after. Ugh, and it's not a reserve, it's a map. Oh my goodness. My stream PC. I have a mouse malfunction. I can't end the stream. Well, I mean, I need to go and do more testing on Emerald Coast. I guess we're just going to have to. Uh... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Always something when you're live. Catch you later, my friends.